Tyler. I know that in church you are part of the media ministry, but what drew you into production, filming, directing, producing? Well, honestly, I could say the reason I got into the media ministry at first, which was the thing that actually got me started, besides my dad dragging me to every wedding he did, um, I saw somebody wasn't doing the job right, and I just said, you know, I know how to do the job right to where the job can get done. So I just stepped in that day, mm -hmm. and ever since then, it's like I couldn't put a camera down. So, but that was just the ticking that just clicked that said, I, I like this kind of stuff. So I, I think I should do this. And as well as, like I said, since 2005, I've been doing weddings and parties and things with my dad. It just, it kind of felt like it was natural when it came to me. So everything since 2005, even in high school, I was doing video productions. And it's like I excelled in video productions, but it was like I wanted more. Mm -hmm. And in college, I was expecting more. But the reason, this is part of the reason I started the T. Bell Show because it's hard to sit back and wait for something when you know you can take advantage of it without having to wait some, for somebody else to actually teach you. Based on everything I did in high school with my dad, it all built up inside and just said, you know what, this media thing is, is pretty cool. And you know, once I got a camera in my hand, it was like a father putting a football in his son's hand for the first time. So I just felt like that was my father's gift to me, putting a camera in my hand. Ever since then, it's like, I like this. But I originally wanted to just video, but directing, to your surprise, I got my directing abilities from you. Oh, wow. From based on my dance, dance ministry skills, from being in charge of the Temple of Fortitude, I did not do any directing. I was always the background person. So I have to also thank you for teaching me how to even direct. And I just took that and took it and used it as a video skill. So I have to just thank you and personally tell you that you are a major contributing factor to this. Oh, so wow. anything that you see without directing, it did not come natural. You were a major part in that process. So I just want to let you know that from the bottom of my heart, you brought the directing side out of me. My dad brought the video side out of me and the producing side as well. So I just, I have a lot of things that contribute to this. So I can also say that um, it wasn't just one thing that clicked, but everything that came together kind of came full circle at one point. So. Amen. To God be the glory. Tyler, I realized that the subject matter that you are exploring is very mature. And what I mean by that is, is dealing with marriage uh, and the, the relationships uh, behind that. Why did you settle on a subject matter of this sort? Well, it's kind of funny because the reason I actually chose this, it built from me actually looking for a girlfriend, which was kind of off. But it's honest, it was kind of far-fetched. And I was just, you know, my dad would always tell me, you know, boy, you know, have you gonna have a good have a hard time trying to find a woman. But she out there. But based on the girls you got in this world, you know, you're gonna have to look real hard. And he always tell me, you know, don't hold women, these women these days, to the standard of your mama or your grandmother, which is like fairly high these days. I was just thinking, like, dog, oh, who possibly at 21, I'm like, who will I marry? Like, there's no reason I should think about this, but it just happened to be on my mind this day. And I'm just thinking, yeah, I want a girlfriend, but you know, it's not a girl out there that makes me want to say, yeah, we can be together. But at the same time, it's like, you can't force someone to be something that they're not. True. I was thinking about that and thinking who I would marry and I wish I had a girl just to kick it with and all this kind of stuff. And one late night, I, I was like, I wish I had somebody to talk to. It's two o'clock in the morning and out of nowhere, I already had my uh, cast, Mr. David and Ms. Jackie, on standby, but had absolutely no idea what kind of video I wanted to do with them. But in the instant, I said, okay, I know I have these two people that want to do a video with me. I, at first, I kind of thought about the idea of doing a divorce and all this kind of stuff, but then I said, nah, I'm 21, never been married. What, you know, I'm a kid, what do I know about marriage? So I just opened the Word document, a good thing. Okay, you know, what now? Sounded good at first. So then I closed the Word document for 10 minutes. Next thing I know, the first line hit me. You know, the guy's arguing with his wife. Okay. So then I had one page. Then I had two pages. Then I had three pages. And no, no way could Tyler have written that. It was only God. To my surprise, I was just looking like, 
two days ago. I had no idea what I was gonna do. And I wrote the script in maybe an hour or two. And I was just like, you know, time with myself, if I was to sit there and actually try and write it myself, it wouldn't have happened. But I just feel like that connection to God, who said, you know what, this was kind of like my David, David and Goliath story. You know, you might not be married, you might, you know, might not have any experience in this type of thing. But to see somebody so young and so mature in a subject like this, which is a heavy topic in the world today, I just felt like it was something that needed to be touched on. You know, even though I was young, I just said, hey, you know, I, I might as well take a shot. Like my dad always tells me, you know, you never know if you never go for it. God was telling me, you know, this is what you need to do. And maybe somebody will see based on my age that, you know, I am mature enough to get a message across, even though it is for entertainment. I'm a Tyler Bell fan. You know, we fans always want more. So my question is, what's next? And what can we look, take, let's take a look at down the future, three years from now, what does Tyler Bell propose to be? I'm going to just first start off by saying, you know, I'm, I'm glad I have somebody that supports me and a family that actually stands by me. And I'm going to let everybody know, first off, it's not Tyler Perry. That's why I go by T-Bell, so a kid that confusion, just let everybody know that right now. As of now, um, it's kind of hard to sit down and say, what's my next project? It's at random times, the message, is just, it just hits me. I don't know off back what I'm gonna be doing. But I know within the next three years, I'm gonna have my own studio. Just hands down, no questions asked. Nothing gonna, God, God he's, gonna, he's gonna see it through. And Satan's just not gonna stop that because this freight train is rolling. I have producers calling me trying to get, I'd be what, 24 at that time, trying to get me on this show, trying to get me to help them. I've already spotted a location where I want my possible T-Bell studio because I just feel like uh, waiting will hinder me from actually getting to success. That's also why, like I said, I started the T-Bell show because if your business stays in the box, you know, it's not gonna go anywhere but against the four walls that you're trapping in. So I just said, the three years that I, I'm actually pushing towards building my own studio and actually, you know, producing movies that'll be on television, not just on YouTube, even though that's a start, but you know, to be on television, have my own studio. And whether if my studio is in Lithonia, New York, Los Angeles, or even my basement, I'm gonna have a studio. It's like no stopping that. I will work with what I have and whether anybody helps me or not, you know, it's no excuses with that anymore. All of my movies their spur of the moment vision and scripted and everything. Yeah, I know I'm gonna do another Halloween movie because I want to take another whack at that. But also, if possible, I would I would like to take a look at doing a, a video based on a play that my church has actually done called um, Back Another Way. That kind of caught my attention the other day. So possibly turning that play into an actual movie will be something I would like to actually take a whack at. In three years, hands down, I'm gonna have my own studio gonna have my own cameras and everything you know I'm like I said I'm proud of my little investment lights but at this point you got to do what the bank says you know if God provides you with this much you got this much to work with you just got to use that and find some way to make it stretch so I just feel like you know three years it's an understatement because it's like I'm pushing now but if I never push I won't, I won't know what I'm going towards so well, we're excited and we look forward to your next project thank you thank you mm -hmm.